I'm very excited that you are joining us today for an Instagram Live with a very special guest and a very special and innovative project which we are going to talk about. Hi, Rosie. So um, today, hi, Heidi. Hello, Lina. So welcome, everyone. We are about to start our live today with our guest, Heidi Legain from the Mice Guru, who will join me shortly on the live. And she will tell you about her new and very exciting project for uh, next year, beginning of next year in January. Um, and uh, yeah, you will get to know everything about it and ask your questions. Um, hi, Faye, and hi, Robert. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> Great to Good see you. Good morning, Irina. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Um, yeah, so um, the audience knows you, um, I guess. We had a wonderful series back in June, uh, back in July, and we also had a great chat about uh, pitching, and um, now um, I share a couple of insights from this chat also on TikTok, and now today you are back with a new project. And I'm very excited about it because it's super innovative, super fresh, and that's what our industry needs right now. So um, I let you start. What's the name of the project? Well, I'm super excited too, obviously. And thank you for that great introduction. It's always fun working with you and we've done so many great series together already. Um, the project is The Digital Trip. So it's something completely new. It's something nobody has done before. So I'm really excited about talking a little bit more about it. The first question is obviously what is a digital trip? Because, you know, you can't really, you can't really imagine what it is like because it hasn't been offered before. And there's not necessarily a definition to what a, dif a digital trip is actually yet they're out there but i would say it's probably traveling from the comfort of your own home yeah exactly and and we, have, we have someone from asia joining us and um we have people from all over the world from copenhagen from the uk and let us know in the comments where exactly you are based and hey Ron, nice to see this you. digital trip because it's digital and you can travel to stavanger in norway exactly right you know, travel is, is discovery, travel is immersive experiences, travel is meeting new people, and we all miss that so, so, so much. So as long as borders are, are closed and we have travel restrictions, there's not much we can do about it. So we thought, what is the best solution we can come up with? And that is traveling digitally. So there's a lot of people already who have offered, for example, a virtual sightseeing, uh, a discovery of a hotel. Um, there's been museums all around the world that have opened for virtual visits. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff has been going on, but we wanted to take that to the next level and make it an entire digital trip. So it's basically going to be a two day full itinerary where you actually experience the destination as you would um, being on Site or coming into the destination. Yeah, so you started already filming, um, you're working with your partners, so we, we touch about it later. Uh, but before, um, why, why did you want to create this project? How did you come about this oh. idea? Well, many different reasons. <laughs> the first reason that always comes to mind when I come up with some new crazy idea is why not? right? Uh, nobody's doing this. So why not? Why not venture into this and, and push the limits of what we can do to come up with something new? Um, I was doing in the beginning of the, the, the first lockdown, I was doing, as everybody else, I suppose, webinars, you know, staying in touch with existing clients, doing presentations. And I, get, I got bored with listening to myself over and over again. So I tried to make my presentations more engaging, more visual, more pictures, more 
videos, more this and that. Um, and then we started moving towards the live venue showcasing, like the example we did with you during the digital festival uh, here in Stavanger as well at the Solar Strand Gore. That was so great. It had so much positive feedback that we thought, okay, we can do something here. It doesn't have to be one specific venue. We can talk about the entire destination and bring everybody together, all the partners, show everybody everything there is to know about the destination and uh, and work from there. We can do bigger and better things. That's also always something that we keep in the back of our of our mind, right? And then Additionally to that, I always like to find a motive that is both positive for ourselves and for the mice guru, staying visible as a brand, being out there, coming up with some uh, some new ideas, but also for the people around us. Like, how can we include as many of the local partners and companies as possibly possible? Uh, humanly possible how can we include people that are having difficulties right now that are out of work uh, that need something to work on how can we learn something new all together so our community has also played a very big part in this uh, you're part of the community yourself so and we've been inspiring each, each other so much and now we are at a level where we support each other to an extent where we are actually starting to give each other work and working together on projects which is absolutely fascinating yeah and every everything starts from that motivation you know i need something for me i need something for the brand but i want so many as many uh, people as possible to be motivated as well you can take the event profs walk as an example i need to get back into being active and moving around but i want everybody to join me and i hope it inspires and motivates people so that's always kind of the dynamics i'm i'm looking for Absolutely. And um, a comment from Robert, um, calling it digital escapism. I like this definition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good um, one, yeah. Robert. It's good to escape from day-to-day -day life and go to discover other places, other destinations uh, from the comfort of our home. Um, yeah, and I also think it's it's very positive sign for the industry because now, right now, many destinations are actually struggling as well. They don't know uh, what to do next because right now there is no business travel to destinations. So seeing what you do, it will also inspire more people in Norway, across the world, convention bureaus, um, how to present their destination and still engage with their target audience. Um, exactly. So we touched uh, already on your objectives. I wanted to ask you as a question, but are there any like other objectives maybe? Sure. I mean, I mean, let's go back first to, to what the digital trip actually is. It is different things. Um, our target group is our audience of event planners around the world, of course, event profs that usually plan international events, MICE projects uh, in any destination around the world, and also who are trying to learn to deliver virtual events and hybrid events now in the uh, now and in the near future. And on the other hand, we are also also reaching out to other destinations, to our national partners and destinations, to anyone who's kind of at a loss at what to do right now, because we know we're not going to be able to travel as before for quite some time. And sitting back and just watching time go by and not doing anything is really not the solution. So we need to be visible, we need to be out there, and we need to keep promoting ourselves and inspiring people to do something. So in the digital uh, trip, we have three types types of tickets. We have a general access ticket, which is open to event planners, event profs all around the world who have such business who is open, uh, that is open to students and people who are currently out of work but looking to get back into the event industry. Then we have a VIP level, which is obviously for people who need a little like, extra. We all love little extra. It, it's a, a prestigious upgrade with uh, uh, hidden VIP lounges, uh, extra VIP only activities, uh, you get delivered a very, very fancy um, a VIP box full of exciting products that you can uh, enjoy at home. So that's the VIP level. And then we have the educational track, which is 
not necessarily for event planners as such, unless you are an agency looking into really uh, digging deep and, and figuring out how to learn to do these types of virtual events. It is more towards destinations, CVBs, um, destination marketers, uh, and agencies who want to understand the entire process behind it. So we will uh, offer video tutorials, um, the process from basically step by step, what we've done, what we've learned, how this project came into existence, um, what is needed, what types of team do you need to put together, how different is the process from actually managing live events, um, what about content strategy, you know, engagement, all of these things we touch on and explain in detail. Because those people buying the educational track will also have access to our own database of people to mingle with, they will also have the VIP level included, etc. So that's the three different pathways we are offering with uh, the digital trip. And the objectives are obviously to inspire, to bring everybody together again, to have people have a really good time because let's be honest, we, we need some refreshing new types of virtual events. We've all been attending so many of them and, and a lot of them are very repetitive. We need to have a good time together, exchange ideas, learn from this because obviously we're also going to make mistakes Things might go wrong. Uh, we are testing this. It's the first time anybody is doing such a long, elaborate digital experience. So it will be new for everyone. And in the same time, we want to educate um, everybody around the world uh, in terms of virtual events because I'm not saying we are the, the key experts here, but we have learned quite a lot. We have really um, gone very deep into studying what is required to deliver virtual and hybrid events. And we've been a part of many already and we've been volunteering on many others and we've been attending an endless number, number of, uh, of virtual events. So this has brought us to this point where we wish to share that knowledge because you know, as well as I do, one of the biggest challenges in our industry is all oh, is is kind of a lack of knowledge in different areas. Yes. For example, if you're talking uh, destination management, you would have an activity provider trying to offer those services. Now we've moved into the virtual world. There is lots and lots of players, uh, even hotels, even uh, you know local AV uh, small companies that suddenly are virtual event designers. Yeah. No, they're not they don't have the required knowledge so that is detrimental to the entire destination and to the entire experience that we're trying to to yeah. offer here yeah i like how inclusive it is because you say it's for freelancers or agencies who are right now out of work or it's for students and it's also for the suppliers the destination uh, the destinations. So it's very important that we as an industry come out of this crisis together and it's not just one part of the industry. Robert is saying it's a virtual VIP marketplace and I can confirm because Heidi, everyone at your events I think is a VIP. So I think it's an experience <laughs> to look forward to. And Naomi joined us and saying you have done incredible. Heidi, you are a digital queen. I'm so excited. Thank you so, so much. Now. Just join Lovely. us now. Uh, just a quick recap. We are talking about uh, innovation and destination experiences and the case study of Digital Trips Tavanger, which Heidi is organizing on the 21st of January. 20 to 21st of January. Yes, remember that date, it's very cool. 2021 yeah. 01 2021. <laughs> it's, it's a lucky day. Um, so, uh, why is it innovative? So, we talked about destination experience, we know what the virtual site visit is, we know what the VIP box is, but what makes like the whole package innovative? Well, obviously it's an entirely new product. So that's number one. And it helps us to develop ourselves, but also our, uh, our destination as an innovative and sustainable destination. So we are literally showing what we have to offer in a whole new way. Um, nobody's ever been on a fam trip before, a familiarization trip of two days where you actually experience the destination in real time. So what we're doing here is literally you are arriving at the airport and you are experiencing this destination from your own 
participant perspective. So you arrive at the airport, you go into your bus, you drive to your venue. It's real time, so you get a true sense of orientation, of distances, of timings, which is so important to event pro profs who participate in uh, in fam trips uh, regularly. Um, it's not only that, it's not only the inspiration and the knowledge about the destination, but it's also something event planners can sell as an incentive product. So this entire two day program can be sold to end clients as as a as an incentive experience it can be tailor-made it can be rebranded it can be you know so many things and it can also be an incentive product for actual companies joining us to reward or motivate their employees it can be a teaser used to sell norway as a live destination later on. You can have, for example, um, an incentive happening in Norway 2022, and this is your, your teaser leading up to that because all of your employees have been waiting for so long to get some kind of reward. It can be turned into a conference platform, like any type of virtual event is is possible from here. Um, and obviously, also never nobody has offered an educational track as such before that is related to fam trips, destination experiences, how to build them, how to keep inspiring your audiences. So, so it's a uh, very exciting and uh, innovative in different ways. Yeah. So. Um... My takeaway, I, I like the, the legacy in this project because it's how to sell Norway as a destination, thinking long term um, for incentives in 2022-23 and uh, kind of having a more kind of holistic approach to this, also testing it right now to be able to offer it to the end client later on. So I think it's very, very long term thinking, which is very important in the mice industry. Um, so a part of arriving to the airport, going to the venue, what kind of other experiences are there? Is there any tasting or any lecture or any keynote speaker? What, what can the attendees expect? All of that. <laughs> Basically what you would want to experience in destination. During your incentive event, we've um, uh, created a variety of those activities uh, digitally. We're not trying to push them into a virtual universe, but we've really thought how to create virtual experiences that are engaging. So you would have elements like, yes, show cooking. If you are on the VIP level, then you have even products related to what's what's uh, being offered during the activity program. You have elements of uh, CSR, corporate, uh, corporate Social Responsibility. You can look into other events that have been designed in the destination. You can uh, go on a fjord cruise. You can do a, a fitness uh, program and compare it to a hike uh, locally on site it's literally a program of activities starting in the morning and ending in the evening so you are engaged entire uh, the, the entire day uh, for two days and you have some breaks obviously in between to go stretch your legs and have lunch breaks but then in those times we still offer plenty of breakout rooms where you can discover something new you can go and check out the local restaurants you can go to shopping for example um you can go mingle in group rooms and just connect and, and enjoy the event with each other um you can uh, what else do we have on the program yes we have panel discussions about sustainability at the oil museum for example we have history and culture um piano recitals and modern art gallery street art we have uh, cocktail classes all kinds of things are included in that program. So it's quite a, quite a variety of, of things to be experienced. So we have excellent questions coming from the audience. Naomi asks, how did you choose what sessions you want to share? As I can imagine, there is so much to share to the world. Exactly. It's the same as with planning any fam trip or any on-site event. You can't do everything and you can't show everything at the same time. But we have tried to cater to the wider audience, so really thought about who are the event planners that will be joining this, what is it that excites them, what is it that makes it easy for them to resell this uh, destination or the virtual product. So that's basically it. It's a focus on different things in a very compact program actually it's 
two long days, but it's still very compact to show as much as you want. Uh, we have focused on the sustainability aspect, on a conference aspect, on uh, different types of events like summits and even festivals. And then you have your typical incentive-like experiences along the way. So we've tried to create a very nice mix to inspire all of the different segments of the, the audience attending. Yeah. yeah, I like how you say to excite because that's the thing what's missing right now is virtual events are not exciting enough there is zoom fatigue so you want to bring this excitement back so it's really really good um question from robert can i rewind and see streams and experiences i missed actually rewind no uh you will be able to see them on demand after the entire event but of course we want to encourage you to join live because it will be a very exciting experience to be a part of this in real time and uh, you will be mingling the program will be very interactive so you will have all kinds of extra levels of engagement during those actual two live days but you will be able to to check what you've missed uh, afterwards robert no worries yeah yeah and i think one of the most exciting parts of virtual events attending live is that you actually can network with the participants uh, who are attending live because i'm really missing this part if i watch something on demand so good events are really try to be present uh coming from naomi you should do the mice book on tour travel around the world and provide virtual experiences would love that um, yeah, and I, think, I think Sabrina, she will be vlogging actually about this trip, right? So um, I will be also around, of course, uh, in the chat room or on Instagram, you will see me uh, there. And Sabrina, she will be also vlogging. So I think it will be very fun to see her vlogs as well. Um, yeah, so you have partners on board, right? How many partners are you involving? Well, actually, um, that's a tough one. Um, in terms of, of financing, it's actually Innovation Norway and ourselves. So this is really an investment. This is always, uh, this is also a way for us to give back to, to, to our community. Uh, we are doing everything we can to develop this and we are not making money on this project. We are just trying to cover some of our basic costs. Um, but, but not all of them. It's mainly an investment for us to develop this scope of work that we will offer for the future as well. Um, so Innovation Norway, we have presented our project as exactly what I described, uh, focus on innovation. It, it was really time to innovate in our industry, also in Norway. We need to do something better that are, than seminars or, or a, a, a local quiz or whatever to promote our destination. We want to be seen, Norway should be seen as, a, as an innovative brand and as a destination to pick post-COVID as one of the top ones uh, that is safe and accessible and has a lot of exciting things to, to offer. So this needed to be brought out, this message needed to be brought out in a much better way. So we've uh, detailed this project, also the kind of um, impact it will have on our local communities, on the business communities in the destination of Stavanger, but also in all of Norway. Also in terms of the education that we will provide and the expertise that will be present which also turns your destination more attractive as well so that's how we got innovation norway on board and then in terms of the actual activities uh, we have different types of, of uh, sponsors that provide some uh, some uh, products perhaps or reduced rates or help us in any way possible but our main goal is not to get stuff for free we want everybody to be able to work and survive because everybody is struggling right, right now so we cannot uh, expect free services at the moment. Um, everybody just trying to, to, to have some kind of income. So we are supporting each other. That's, uh, that's the main goal of the project. And um, so you, you, you will showcase some venues, for example, and hotels. And how did you convince your partners then, to these local partners to be part of this project, that you come there and you film there or you hold a session there? How did you... How did you convince them? Well, everybody is... 
everybody's obviously looking for new ways to promote themselves um, and in a time where business is slow it's very important and this is an amazing platform to be able to do that so you are literally showcasing your your venue or hotel to to all of the event planners joining this event it's like a dream it's like attending uh, 10 fairs or an entire year of sales missions you know so so it's not that hard to get people on board also so we are a well-known brand, so so people know what we usually deliver and and what type of a client uh, database we have and who we want to work with and what type of international global brand projects we have done before. So we have a very solid network of uh, of partners that are eager to to collaborate with us. Luckily, it's fascinating and. We will uh, be moving to our next question, but before, if anyone in the audience has a question, please ask Heidi, it's your chance. Um, if you want to know how many participants will be there or how much it costs or how you can get in touch with one of the partners, just let us know. Um, okay, so um, do you think this is the future of mice, mice sales or is it just a temporary solution for now? virtual digital trips i believe it's a combination of both but it's definitely going to become in my opinion a very important part of my sales we can see that we are moving a little bit away from all of the um, um, trade show type events um, and people have learned that they can network and connect in different ways now virtually digitally uh, so i believe that there will be more understanding and more trust in getting information online virtually, but with a reliable partner. So obviously nobody is going to stop traveling and people will still want to discover destinations on, on actual fan trips and we will keep offering those because they are important. But we now have new tools to reach out to so many more people and also in the same time people who might be way too busy to actually discover the destination and are scared to offer it because they don't know enough about it will now have a chance to discover it virtually and it might be easier to share within uh, in, within their company or agency with their teams etc so i'm definitely a big believer in uh, in uh, virtual visits and uh, virtual type experiences to to create a sense of of trust understanding orientation etc yeah yeah, but it's, it's a complex product. You need a couple of months to develop it. You need to film it. It's not that you just come like, comes and let's go, let's do some virtual tour. No, it's, it's a lot of preparation, a lot of strategy behind it, a lot of communication. So uh, if that's the future, people need to start getting ready for this now. It's, of course, it's, I mean... So it's a learning curve because the first one you will do, you will have so many learnings then like the next one you will make even more amazing. Yeah, we've been working on this project literally since March by starting with education, um, with everything from the beginning to really understand the full process. And we put, put together a great team uh, of people also that we will introduce shortly. So it is a process that is new to so many of course there have been agencies offering virtual events before but this is kind of new in a way um, especially when we think about the incentive market it is brand new like what can you actually do other than a, a zoom christmas party to engage your employees but yes it's a, it's a it's a really huge undertaking and it takes a long time and it's a very daunting process if it's new to you and that's also why and, and personally, I've received so many requests and calls for advice and, and, and uh, ideas and concepts that we've put together this educational track during the digital trip now for people to really be offered all of that expertise that we've built over these last couple of months on a, on a golden platter, if you want, like really we've done so many testings, trials and errors and demos and learned so much along the way that we are now able yeah. to make it easier you for other tested, people. I know that you also tested a lot of tech platforms to find the oh, right yes. one. Just this, it takes so much time and 
combination. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's important to, to remember the idea that we work out of objectives and not the other way around. So there's a lot of people around the world, but also in our destination, that are developing event platforms to sell and sell and sell and resell for all types of events. I'm a, a big believer in, in uh, uh, that the fact that that's not the right approach. You really need to find the tech stack that matches the objectives or, of your event. So you need to start from there instead of trying to, to push a program into an existing platform. So yes, we've been looking around and we've been testing like maniacs and tried many, many features all over uh, and it's uh, it's going to be exciting. Um, we want this event to be engaging, obviously, and have the, the possibility to have to add as much interaction as possible. Um, talking about the future of incentives, a comment from Robert, this is fam trip for the many, in person may become for the few. Do you agree with this? Well, Robert, I mean, we've always had uh, restricted groups of visitors during fam trips. It is a big investment for a destination to invite um, a person on site. Uh, so there are usually groups of about 15, 20, maximum 25 people. Um, what we are able to do now is reach out to a larger audience, although don't underestimate the, the the cost of a of a virtual project because this is a a very very high cost as well but if we can recreate it or reuse for example the digital trip for several groups of uh, event planners that makes it quite easy to uh, to work with but um yeah the few it's always been the few so i don't necessarily necessarily think there will be fewer fam trips i just think that we will be able to reach out to more in a shorter period of time yeah yeah i also think it's about the roi you can already also pre-select your potential buyers who attend the virtual trip and then when the demand from their side is there, they can actually be invited for a fan trip because it's a huge, huge investment in terms of... Yes, yeah, the digital trip is also yeah. a very big investment. It's, it's make or break, really. So we are putting everything we have in there. So it's important to, of course, have... Uh, event planners who can give us business, uh, bring business to Norway in the in the near future or uh, virtually. Yeah. And um, the question from Rosie, I'm keen for this for myself and one or two colleagues. What are ticket prices, please? And are you offering any group tickets? Well, we have a very, very reduced uh, ticket price of um, in euros. It's it's forty one euros, and so it's a very, very tiny cost compared to the actual cost of what the ticket would be. Um, we've had a few free general access tickets. Uh, One hundred launched, I believe. We have the last couple of few free ones still available for registration right now. Um, we have a free ticket for students and then we have the VIP, uh, the VIP in exactly, it's a bargain. The VIP level is uh, 210 10 euros and that's basically the actual cost of the products without our work, without earning anything, without any additional um, um, winnings. So it's literally um, that value plus all of the other value that you yeah, get on top of that. Sneak peek what's in the box. Ah, I want it to be a surprise, but there's some good foodie products in there. There's some things to wear. There's some things to taste, and they are all um, high high quality products. So it's not your usual pens and things uh, yeah, that you would get from a destination. Yeah, I think that's important. That's uh, that's a whole other topic, but like the value of virtual events and the cause it goes and the need to really to provide value and that people also understand that it has a cost attached to it. It's not that like you will be now sent like chocolates and jeans and beer and that and that. No, there is value and you want also people to recognize the work and the effort and the story behind it. So I think it's very good that you put a price tag on this. Okay, so very last question, and also for the audience, it's also your last chance to ask a question. So I'm attending the virtual trip, um, 20 to 21st uh, January 2021. 
<laughs> what's the date? Um, so how can I prepare myself? Shall I prepare myself or I just show up on the 20th of January? Like, how? <laughs> First of all, you block the dates. Very, very important because you will be engaged for two days. So you can consider this as an actual trip. So if you're a, a freelancer sitting at home, block those dates. If you are working in a company and you need permission from your boss, this is an actual fam trip where you will learn, where you will have experience to share with the team, um, a product that is uh, sellable towards your clients. So start with that. Um, and then we, we have a, a communication flow, of course. So as soon as you register, you get information and inspiration along the way from now, from registration all the way up until until after the event. There will be competitions launched. Um, you should definitely go and follow at your digital trip on Instagram because there will be a lot of things happening there. And we will start engaging with gamification from way before the event uh, until during the live days. And then other than that, you will receive information information for all the general access tickets you will have information of what would be nice to prefer Pre pre prepare sorry in your house to participate in the activities if you uh, didn't purchase a VIP box to, to not feel uh, left out uh, there will be lots of teasers a little um, more insight into what's going to happen because we've we've actually designed this project in a quite a mysterious way so the first engaging engagement part of the, of the content strategy was uh, quite um, mysterious not a lot of information so we're adding on to that bit by bit and there will be add-ons also on the in the virtual lobby so the most exciting part right now is to register and go and have a look at the lobby so you get a feel for the event and the different activities that will be on offer and then stay tuned excellent so uh, wonderful Heidi that was another great chat lots of inspiration as always and innovation coming from Norway and from Stavanger um, I've, I've registered already, so uh, if you haven't registered yet, you still have a chance to get your hands on one of the free tickets, so do this today. Um, so where can people find the link? Um, we, can, we can share the link here uh, after the, the, the live chat, but also on my Instagram, at the Mice Guru, at the Mice Guru official, you have it in bio, and obviously on at your digital trip, the Instagram account, it's available there as well. Yeah, excellent. So uh, we can't wait for the digital trip. Um, and we'll be getting ready. We will be following on uh, Instagram, on LinkedIn, I believe you are as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, looking forward for your next piece of communication, Heidi. Me too. We're Thank super you very, very excited. Much. Um, <laughs> and uh, we are ready to take off, I think. <laughs> yeah. The news is also fi excited to finally get to Norway. You know, I'm uh, very happy to see such amazing feedback, like since we opened just right now, like uh, two days ago, uh, so many messages of support and, and, and positive feedback have come in. It's hard yeah. to keep up, so, so I'm yeah, very happy to see. Yeah, amazing Instagram uh, communication, like no seat belts, no bad airport food. And no, what was there? No waiting, no queues at the airport. So that's kind of, yeah, that's so different. Like that's <laughs> what we don't really like. So let's do really something that we're excited about. So yeah, good food, no queues, no waiting time <laughs> from the comfort of your home. Yeah. Just relax and show up. <laughs> yeah, and Faye is also saying it will be an interesting new experience for sure. Excellent, so thank you very much. Um, any questions for Heidi, uh, drop her a DM on Instagram at the Mice Guru or the Mice Guru Official. Um, Sabrina also saying good social strategy. Of course it is. No She's required. involved. <laughs> no begging, exactly. Yeah. Just, just a lot of food and drinks, which is so great. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to arrange it at home. Excellent, Heidi. We'll be really looking forward to see what's coming up next because I know there's a lot of mystery and things are happening behind the scenes. So very looking forward to the reveal. Thank you so much Thank for uh, the invite. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you, Heidi, so much. And see you soon. See you. Bye. Bye.